These stairs will be torn down, turn into a new uh, entry wall and vestibule area. That's Nick who's leading the way. So this is your old fireplace. So it'll be obviously, this is all going to be torn down, going back with a new gas furnace in place. And the bar has all now been uh, demolished. New bar design is in, in progress. The, dry, the wood stud wall there you see exposed will be torn down and pushed out about two feet, increasing the size of your bar area. The bar lounge area, for the most part, is staying as is. You get some new flooring out there, new lights, and new windows. Uh, but for the most part, that space is staying the way it is. Your bar storage area, we've torn down the door to make a bigger door into the new bar uh, storage area. This uh, other door in the bar storage is torn down. It's going to turn into your uh, unisex bathroom on the second floor. So you can see we removed the drywall, all the equipment that was in here, cabinets. Uh, you have your back, so your equipment will be up against the wall there where you see the louver. And you'll have a like a closet, a little water closet, a uh, like generous closet, and an ATM machine in here as well. Look on, looking down on Antonia's old office. Obviously where your dining room is, we've removed the carpet off the old hardwood floor and turn out the, top, the uh, drop ceiling. That will go back in with a new drop ceiling. It's called a Roulon ceiling. Elevator stays as it is. This wall, you see the yellow uh, mastic on there. You see that carpet on there that's obviously been demolished. Uh, that's going to go back now with a four foot wainscot and then paint it up with that. Uh, drywall you see removed up here in the top is for new ductwork penetrations to go over the kitchen area. Electrical feeds. The hardwood floor out here in the, in the great room will be removed. It's going back with a new engineered wood flooring, so that will have a nice clean look to it. New wood base. All the electrical wires you see are all coming out and being refed with new wires. The uh, white, white panels up on the roof, those remain. Uh, those get painted so they'll have a nice fresh look to it and the light fixtures get replaced. On the south face here, obviously we've taken out all the windows. Uh, you get new windows in there. The three exterior doors on the deck get replaced. And the area between uh, what would be the far west door and the middle door get removed and you get a operable style uh, door that will go in there so you'll be able to open that all the way up and have a open air access to the deck. As you can see through the window we will remove the entire deck planks. We have some new structural upgrades we have to make to the deck, new handrails around the outside for the stairs. Deck boards will go back in. The plan is to reuse all the existing deck boards. We take the nails out of them, flip them over, reinstall the deck boards and probably have about 30% new deck boards going in at a diagonal. All right, heading back over to where the uh, old DIY barbecue area was. So the barbecue came out, we removed that in the hood. That's now going to become a vestibule out to the deck. see all the deck boards removed. So in here, this area that we're walking through right now, the flooring is going to come out. Uh, the wall you see with the electrical panel remains. Uh, we'll get a little nook that we're going to build for the new salad bar that was in place. And then you have a storage room on the other side of that, new coffee, little room. Uh, your meeting room is going to remain a meeting room. Uh, basically, no changes to this room. We get a radiant wall heater there along the north face where you see the drywall removed. 
So that gets a new heater goes in. A uh, new door to the right there where you see the studs exposed. That gets opened up and a new door through there into what will be the storage and the galley storage area. Uh, lights and ceiling in here remain. Uh, basically the lights remain in the same location but you get new lights. The ceiling will remain. Again, this stud, this stud wall will get modified for a new door into uh, the storage room. That'll be now a uh, self-contained storage room, kind of for the meeting room and for the dining hall. Uh, this wall, this door gets infilled now to create uh, the galley storage area. So that wall you see there with the stud wall, uh, with the front, with the studs exposed, gets taken down. We're building a new room on the outside of that. Uh, Basically, where a 20 years old office was at a sliding glass door. We built <coughs> two story new rooms there. Two, two stories of new structure. The old galley remains the same, really, no work in there. So the old store is going to basically stay the same way. We're going to get the new doors, the doors that were there go back as they were. Fireplace goes away, just goes into a drywall enclosure. Heading into what used to be the men's, uh, your old library. So the old library has now been demolished. Uh, what you see is all the exposed wall, that all gets new drywall. It's become the men's and women's new restrooms and locker rooms. So right now we're in the process of tearing up the old pile that was in here and then the next day or two we start demoing the slab in here to get ready for all the new plumbing. Walls you see there into the old showers get removed. We're actually pushing that whole structure south to make room for the men's new showers. All the plumbing electrical has been removed. What used to be your old entry into the facility off the south side is going to remain. We're going to redo the floor in here, and grind it down so you get a nice clean look on the floor. Your old women's uh, locker room is now going to become the new library. So again, all the, the walls have been torn down, the tiles are going to get ripped up. Floor monuments that go in to the conference room table. This is the regatta room, basically stays the same. We get new flooring, new ceiling in here. Not a whole lot of new changes in this room. But again, you can see we're taking out the windows in preparation for the new windows. Uh, looking this way now, this is where your uh, new race room is gonna be. So you have a new race room, new storage, uh, administration offices beyond that where Antonio's old office used to be. So again, we've taken down all the existing finishes. Uh, wall that you see here still uh, stood up with the doorway in it. It's a structural wall. It's a load bearing for the galley above. And that gets replaced with a new beam across the top, like a header, so you won't have a wall there anymore. That area all gets a T-bar ceiling, so I have a nice office look to it. And getting back into where the race room and sailing staff used to be, that's all been taken down. Uh, where the hot water heater you see there gets pushed to the north a little bit towards that plywood wall. And then that should become your new sailing staff room and a racing galley. Again, finishes removed. You can put in new hard lid ceiling, new walls. Outside, you can see a stack of the old deck boards that we pulled out. Most of them in good condition.
And then this structure, again, is going to get new joists put between all these existing 8 by 16 beams. So you'll have, I think in the past, you had some issues with reflection in the deck. That should all go away when we add all the new supports. All the conduits you see for the old lights, the lights should remain in the same spot, basically all the same light fixtures. Uh, with new conductors and new conduit raceways. That's pretty much it. Hope you like the update.